This video demonstrates limitations of contemporary parametric CAD. For this demonstration we use Sketcher of Creo Parametric, former pro engineer. We chose this CAD application of PTC, just as a CAD program containing typical parametric Sketcher. You can try instead solid works of Dassault, Solid Edge of Siemens, Inventor of Autodesk etc. The results will be similar. Our task is to investigate the solver from Creo Parametric and to understand how complicated should be geometric model to become unsolvable for the sketcher. We'll see that in the case of Creo Parametric this limit is rather easy to reach. We start with the simple sketch containing 12 line segments. These line segments are constrained by some parallel and perpendicular constraints. Now let's start doing mirror operations. This is the simplest way to obtain a sketch with many entities, because after each mirror operation the number of entities is doubled. First we add two construction lines, and after that do two mirrors. This is the first mirror. This is the second one. The sketch is quite small, so everything is very easy and fast. Now let's do two more mirrors. While doing these mirrors you can already notice some delays while regenerating corresponding geometric models. You see this delay? Let's try to drug some nodes of the sketch. You'll see how unstable are the solutions produced by this solver. A small drug of the node and a huge changes in the sketch. You see this ugly picture. As you'll see in the next demo, our Cheetah Solver has no such unpleasant effects. Now we'll do two more mirror operations. As you'll see the problem will be much more complicated for the solver. The delay will be significantly longer. As you can see, even after adding just a construction line we need to wait about 2 seconds. Now to mirror. We see a delay about 8 seconds. Meanwhile the delay was not so big, but if we'll do one more mirror, you'll see that the delay is considerably longer. And now we need to be ready for a long wait. You can see that now solver already requires a significant amount of memory. This is the reality of parametric CAD, as we all know it. The solvers have a very poor performance. Starting from some hundreds of entities solver becomes very slow, unstable, and requires a lot of memory. 
When this operation will be finished we'll obtain a sketch containing only about 800 line segments. Actually, it's not too much. But you can see, the mirror operation already requires a significant amount of time. Okay finally it is completed. More than a minute and a half to resolve this sketch. In fact, it was the last mirror that we are able to do for the sketch working with the solver of PTC. Indeed, we performed only six mirrors. If we'll try to do one more mirror operation we'll see that it is already cannot be done. Let's try to do it. First of all we need to add one more construction line. And, you see, even such a simple operation is already quite problematic. You need to wait for a long long time. Let's be patient, and wait for the solver to accomplish this primitive job. It is amazing why it is so long. We just added one vertical line to the model, that is fully resolved. This line, actually, is aside from the main group of entities, and has no connection to them. And so long delay. It demonstrates that Solver is already working on the limits of its capabilities. Okay at last, it's finished. Nearly 3 minutes to finish such a simple operation. And, you see, a lot of memory required to do this job. Now let's try to do the last mirror operation. We'll see that solver of PTC is not able to do it. But to obtain even this negative result we are to wait about 3 minutes. As you can see, now Solver uses more than gigabyte of memory. It is close to its natural death. This is the end. More than three minutes. As a result we obtained this strange message. Under dimension section. Please add dimensions. What should user do with this information?